everybody, I'm Megan Zimba reporting here at IMTS in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm at the Heimer booth. Well, Brian, I'm super excited to be here with you today. I, I know I was recently at your facility in Illinois, and we were checking out all of your, your digitization, your balancer, your presetter, and your shrink fit technology. And we're back at it here again, but this, this looks a little bit different. So I want to start talking to you about what do you have going on here specifically at IMTS? Because this isn't what I saw at your, your shop. It, it seems kind of more on the basic level of things. So let's start with this. What are we talking about here? Well, it actually is, uh, Megan. It's actually on the basic level. In fact, it's called the Power Clamp Basic Machine. So it's a shrink fit machine that's uh, more of an entry level shrink machine for some who are just getting into it, who don't shrink a lot of tools a day. Okay. So again, this whole section of the booth, we talk a lot about products that are more for every shop out there, people just starting out or just getting into shrink fit. So it's a basic, but the nice thing is it's solidly made, uses all the high-end Heimer technologies made in-house. So it, it really is reliable and will do good as far as the shrinking process, but it's a lesser cost machine and, and maybe not for as higher production as far as shrinking a lot of tools. Gotcha. So why don't we break down some of the top features of this specific machine? Yeah. And then let's go on to the next step with the presetter. And then we'll get into that a little bit more. But what are the top features here that businesses who might not have a shrink fit um, system in their business, what, what should they know about this specifically? Well, yeah, good question. Well, basically it's nice. It can shrink tools from eighth inch to inch and a quarter. So it's got a very wide range. It actually is available with no cooling at all. So you can get it just if you're maybe, there might be a shop that only changes five tools a day. So maybe they just shrink the tool in and out, let it sit there, let it cool by the air cool, the natural air, because they're not in a big hurry. But that said, it's got the nice ability to add, we have an air cooler over here where you can actually slide over the tool holder assembly and cool it down by air. The other neat thing though is the electronics. So we've got what's called the standard automatic cycle. So the automatic cycle will automatically sense the distance from the outside of the chuck to the inside of the coil. So even though we call it basic, it's very advanced because it will not overheat the tool holder. So you're still not making a consumable out of your tool that will last the life of the machine tool. So then let's move on to the presetter. You have one of those here as well that yes. are not as advanced as the one that we saw in Illinois, but it's still advanced enough to really help make a difference for some of those small to medium sized shops. So for a shop that's looking to do something with presetting, what are those features that they should really pay attention to from Heimer? Yeah, so we've got two of our UNO series. We've got the UNO Smart and the UNO Special Edition that we're showing here in, in our more basic area. And it's for those shops that maybe they have two CNC machines. Maybe they only do parts runs of eight parts and then they're switching over the fixturing and switching over the tooling to do the next 10 parts for the next part family. Mm -hmm. And so the most basic that Uno Smart is able to just set your Z, set your X. You can actually look at the image of the cutting tool to make sure it's still in good shape. You can print out a label, you can print out a QR code, send that information to the machine manually, but it's good for a lot of shops. I mean, I worked in a small shop back in the day and and we only had two CNC machines and I would have loved to have done that because I was able to set up the tool holders before the next job, but I wasn't able to preset. So I still had to come down and touch off manually. Gotcha. And that took a lot of time. Then on the UNO Special Edition, that brings us to the Microvision software. So the more advanced software that follows the rest of our line all the way to our highest end presetters. So oh. that's a nice way to start at a lower cost point, but very solidly built like all the machines, but yet have that software that can be upgraded or it allows the, the customer to be more uh, in tune with our software so they do end up buying a more advanced presetter later, they already know how to use the software. So I think that's a really interesting point. You are basically growing with your customers. You're helping them continue their success by allowing them to, to know the software and later on not have any problems with it as they upgrade their system. So that's really cool. Yeah. Another thing that you're showing off here in the basic section yeah. is the balancer. And not every shop balances their tools, which is like not a good idea. So for someone who's starting out, who's for some small to medium sized business that might not be balancing their tools, why is Heimer the system that they should come and check out? 
Well, Heimer is the system, first and foremost, because we've been making balancing machines specifically for tool holders or grinding wheel assemblies since 1996. So we're still the only tool holder builder in the world that makes a balancing machine. So it all starts with the accuracy. If, if, if you aren't able to accurately clamp the tool holder assembly, measure it, and tell us how to correct it, it's all a waste of time. But we can do that even with our basic machine we call the TD-1002. And that allows the people to get into balancing. And then once they're into it and they actually have the ability to balance their assemblies, they'll soon see the benefits. Better tool life, better surface finish, better part tolerancing, uh, better spindle life, of course, or more predictable spindle maintenance. But the most important thing is that they don't have to compromise slowing down their feeds and speeds. Because if you have a balanced assembly, you can run the machines faster, get your parts done faster, and then make more money, even with the low-end balancing machine, our TD-1002. So you got three great systems here, and you call it your basic se section, but there's really nothing basic about it. It's very advanced technology. Let's say I'm a small business owner just starting out. What do I start with first? Yeah, I'd probably start with the shrink fit system like this that we're standing in front of. Okay. Because shrink fit is uh, the most easy system for balance repeatability. So in other words, um, if you're putting, a, let's say, just a ball nose end mill or something in there, there's very little effect on the balance of the assembly. So this is a first step, plus the run out accuracy is good. It's very consistent. Also, leading into the small shop, mid-size shop, if they decide to grow the technology of shrink fit to later technology that we're gonna show you later with yeah. our automation cube and some of those things, they've already got their base level already set with the shrink fit holders, which is the easiest tool holder system in the world to, to make, uh, to integrate into an automation system ultimately. So I'd say start with the shrink machine and okay. then go from there. So one last question, why was it important for Heimer to really showcase some of these basic level systems? Because there are a lot of companies that come to IMTS and they do all the glitz and the glamour and they show their newest and greatest innovations and in machine systems. Why was it important for you to highlight some of these basic systems? That's a great question. I'm actually glad you, you asked that. It actually has to do with our history. So at Heimer, we now have 800 people worldwide. We're a true producer of products. We make 4,000 tool holders a day. But keep in mind, Mr. Heimer and Mrs. Heimer started the business out of Mr. Heimer's father's basement. So they know that that's how a lot of shops start. So we don't want to lose track. We don't want to be too sophisticated for the people who are starting because we were there too. And then yeah. It's a natural progression for shops. They they go from one level to the next to the next over time. So we don't want to say we're just going to be the, for the big shops or just for the state of the art equipment, which we do offer that kind of stuff. Yeah. But even for the smaller shops, we want to have a product that they can rely on because again, it's even though it's like I said, it's a more basic. It's very reliable. It's all automatic as far as the settings, and it's very easy to use. And then it gives those small shop owners the ability to focus on other stuff. You don't have to think about your tool holder assembly because you know it's going to go to the machines the same every time. Mm -hmm. So again, back to your original question, it's really because that's where we came from. So we know yeah. those kind of shops. We don't want to lose sight that those are very important customers to us too. Well, and I like the fact too that with all of your systems, they're very easily integrated into other types of systems. They don't necessarily have to have the Heimer brand on them. And I think that's really helpful too for smaller shops who might be starting out and they don't have the budget to afford some of those more expensive options that are out there. You're absolutely right. Cause we, you know, Mr. Heimer thinks of things as a producer of parts cause that's what he's focused on. And he would never want to be locked into a proprietary system. So that's a great point. So that's why all of our machines, whether it be a shrink machine, a presetter or a balancer, they can shrink anyone's tool holders, even different brands. They can preset anyone's tool holders. They can balance anyone's tool holders because again, we would never want to be from our side locked into a proprietary system dependent on one supplier. So we want to make sure our technology is universal and that everyone can use it. Awesome. Well, we're here on a journey with Heimer today. And let's say I'm a, a business owner. I have the shrink fit, I have the presetter, I have the balancer, and I keep growing and growing and growing. What is the next step? in this journey with Heimer. Where are we going next? Well, the next step is the tool room of the future, really, because the tool room of the future is where we show a lot of digital connectivity with our wind tool, tool management software. And in that, we're gonna show how we can integrate with, in our case here today, Hypermill, which is a CAM system. 
We can actually send data directly to the machine tool control. We can track how the tool holder assemblies are flowing throughout the shop environment. So the next step after this is to get into our digitization and automation solutions. Awesome, thank you so much. I'm super excited to see the next step in this journey. Be sure to stop by at Hymer, even if you're just starting out in the industry, they have the tools and systems to make you more productive, more efficient, and maintain your quality. So see you guys soon, bye. Bye.